Okay, it's Toby from Heavyweight MMA. Today with Rongho Tohinya, better known as Navajo Sterling. How are you, brother? Kia ora. Yeah, all good. All good. Kia ora. Yeah. Bro, I talked to you about two years ago and things have changed a lot, bro. What's changed, man? I mean, you've you've come a long way. Your, your training's progressed. How are you feeling now? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my training has progressed. I've gotten really, really good. Um, gotten a lot more mature. I've learned a lot in the past couple of years. And um, yeah, like, just like things are picking up for me now and it's uh, exciting times, you know. So just grateful, grateful for everything. And um, yeah, really exciting times for me this year. So uh, now I feel like I'm, 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 uh, I'm a legit MMA fighter, not just the, the hype coming over, so yeah. That's it, man. Back back then, you were pretty confident anyway. You were doing your grappling tournaments, you were doing everything, but, but in those two years, you're grinding. You guys grind like every week, how many sessions. You're yeah. going to pick up so much in two years. They say it takes five years to master something, so in those two years since I talked to you, you already half-mastered you know, wrestling yeah. and, and uh, jiu-jitsu and everything even more than you already had, right? Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. I've, and I, I knew like... I, uh, I knew like... Um, all the things that I wasn't good at and I had really chimed in on um, those specific things for like the past year, two, two three years, just attacking that. And now I'm uh, they're like really, I'm really, really good at those now. So um, yeah, it was, they were like the last sort of pieces sort of thing. And now it's just, um, I feel like I've, I've, I've smoothened out the, the, the rough edges on my MMA game. And now it's just, um, just adding tools, tools to it yeah. now, you know. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's real good. So yeah, you are uh, you're spinning back kick and then your fake kick to right hand, bro. You're, yeah, you're yeah. Sean O'Malley influenced shot, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> nice one. I legit um just seen that like on YouTube and I saw him do it and I was like, oh, shit, I know how to throw a spinning back kick. Like I don't know why I never try. So I thought oh, this would be the perfect fight to show showcase that. And um, yeah, I do it all the time in training. Like a lot of pro, a lot of my teammates like notice I do it in training. So I was just yeah. um, adding the fake to it as well, and um, pushing yeah. them, pushing them to my left. And wow. uh, yeah, it's like a, another weapon banked. Um, I'm probably going to try and add some more uh, striking kicks. Um, I actually hit up Carl Van Roon. Uh, I'm yeah. supposed to be doing some sessions with him, um, just to add add some more looks because. For the past year, couple of years, I've just been grappling. I haven't even, I don't even uh, strike anymore as much as I used to. Just yeah. um, everyday wrestling and jiu-jitsu. So, bro, Carl, Carl Van Roon, the Taekwondo coach, for anyone that doesn't know, has a has mad kicks. His students look awesome, bro. I watch his, yeah. I, I sub to his Instagram. Uh, yeah, it's called yeah. Van Roon Martial Arts. If anyone's interested, trained Izzy, trained a few of the lads. I've seen um, blood as yeah. well in there, right? Like, add a few just different different elements and different angles to your kicks, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I have the uh, capability to actually pull off those moves in, in real time as well. Uh, that's always been like my specialty, like actually doing, adding the the new weapons to the to the game. Because most people just like you know you teach them things and they just go out and fight the way they normally fight. So um, me adding those in is just like me hitting that flow state. Um, being in control and and uh, knowing which weapons are available to me at, at, at uh, said time, like I feel like I got a good understanding on which what which shots you should throw at which time, and and obviously because we're big, you, you can't just um, throw willy nilly shots out there. It'll it'll take a toll on your energy. So yeah, um, yeah, I, f- I find I'm very efficient for that. Yeah, and pretty fast too, bro. I like that last fight. I noticed the, your speed is pretty good for a big fella. Yeah, yeah, nah. Because I, I had actually fought at um, heavyweight like past year and a half. So um, that was my first like cut back to light heavyweight, and I was like, "Holy shit! Like this, this is this is what I'm supposed to the, the weight I'm supposed to be at." Because I just felt, felt like I was on another level, like just in terms of my speed. Yeah, um, I haven't felt that fast, and and. Years, I, I almost I felt like I, I got like my superpowers back again or something because yeah, the heavyweight say is like yeah, I felt a bit slower but stronger, but yeah, 
speed nice. uh, as, as kills, eh? Bro, you've been, you've been saying that you've been wrestling for two years. When I was looking back at your interviews, you know what I noticed have changed, bro? Your fucking ears have changed. Your ears oh, have yeah, got chunked up in those two years, bro. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Yeah, look at these <laughs> things, bro. They're, they're, they're so jammed up, bro. Like, I've, I've like, drained them so many times. Like, this one's just, like, a solid pocket. Yeah. My left ear, oh, my left the- ear, I can barely put a, um, my ear pods in. <laughs> bro, I <laughs> saw you. you I saw you wearing the, the wrestling earmuffs. What happened, bro? You just said, fuck it, I'm throwing them away. I don't need yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. I, I only really wear them. I only really wear them um, when they're sore, like when they're like really oh, fresh. Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. that's the only time I wear them because, um, yeah, my ears are just getting too much pain. Um, yeah, I I, uh, I only wear it just to sort of keep the ears from being in, out of pain. But, um yeah, I, I don't. They're like a badge of honor, eh? Like people, people yeah, respect that's what they are, when, right? they see, when they see that's you with them. Eh? Like, there's been a few <laughs> like, few nights I've been out, you know. And people like, obviously don't know who I am, but they're like, oh shit, this, <laughs> don't mess with don't yeah. mess with this guy, you know. Exactly. I got in the lift. Like I'm in I'm in Asia, but I got in the lift the other dude, and there's this big dude, and he had like all the cauliflower areas. I said, "You train." Yeah. He's like speaking in Chinese, but he was obviously like a judo player or something, man. Bigger, yeah, yeah, big yeah. ass, like chunked up ears. Yeah. Bro, anyway, we're here to talk about 14th of June, Hex 31, bro. Bro, you're fighting Sam K. Sam K is actually training out of Central Coast MMA. Ross Pearson, I think, is his coach. And, yep. uh, and uh, yeah, that's actually my area, bro. So you're, you're coming against me, bro. You're, you're fighting yeah, yeah. against my hometown. <laughs> 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 what are you going to do? What's, what's going to happen in the fight, bro? Uh, yep, from what, so what, from what I've seen, uh, he's like a boxer-style fighter. Uh, he likes to keep it on the feet. Um, so obviously, just looking out for uh, the hands. That seems to be where he's most comfortable. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, I'll just take the easiest route. Like I'll give him give him a couple looks on the probably just try and uh, get a couple of entries in, see how he reacts to those, and um, yeah, obviously utilize my kicking and then uh, using that to set up the hands. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I never really game plan or anything. It's just taking what's in front of me. Um, he could come out and fight a completely different fight. You know, he might even try to take me down. Yeah. So um, you can't, yeah. you can't really uh, game plan a in MMA. Like things just change. But one thing I do know is, um, the longer the fight goes, the the better I get. Um, I'm like a runner, bro. I, I run. I, I used to be like a really really good runner always been uh, known for my long distance and stamina. Yeah. I've, I've fought so many uh, five-round fights and title fights, and I've, I've always come out on top. So um, being able to like go five rounds, five minutes, it's, uh, that's easy for me. I can I can go all day. So I'll be looking to put the pace on and ideally get a finish in the first round, but um, the, the longer it goes, the better I get, and I can just keep showcasing more looks, more skills, and how diverse my game has gotten over the years so I just want him to be really really good to so we can you know I have a good dance partner in there yeah man it's a it's a good opponent for you I mean he's fought in PFL a few times um you obviously need to start stepping up the opponents right and he's he's the right man for you he's the level you need to be showing your you know showing how good you are against someone who's been in PFL or someone with good good yeah. sets in the regional scene and you can uh you know then then step up from there it's a good path to follow right no, for sure, and it's just like another one of those moments we find finding the uh, young prospect coming up against the seasoned veteran. You know, a guy who's, who's fought you know UFC uh, caliber fighters, and someone who's like obviously wanting to fight those kind of kind of guys. So it's just um, yeah, I'm I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'm, uh, glad I get to fight someone this good um, in my career because I've been waiting for this my whole. My whole life, man. It's it's um it's like a big fight for me, and uh, I enjoy the pressure. I enjoy the pressure. It's it uh, makes it that much more fulfilling when you when you do win. So um, rather than shy away from it, um, I'll I'll walk in head first. Embrace it, right? Like you, I heard you yeah. mention before that you kind of embrace the moment and that you take a deep breath and you you kind of feel it all and embrace it rather than getting nervous. That's a good thing, man. It's a good way to be, right? Like being present yeah. is a big thing, yeah. Yeah, being present because a lot of people think about, oh, what's going to happen uh, if I lose or what? It's like 
bro, it's too much to think about. Nothing's even happened yet, you know? Like, I'm in control of what's happening right now. I've met so many people that are like, oh, man, should have done this, should have, could have, would have, you know? I'd, I'd rather just um, let it all hang and, and uh, just be free in the moment. That's it, man. So you're up in your opponent, and as I mentioned before, you've also upped your social media efforts, bro. So along with yeah, your skill set, yeah. along with your experience, you've started to up that area too, which is good. It's good for upcoming fighters to do that. You look at the the guys like Sean O'Malley are killing it yeah. on the side as well as fighting. So you've got like a couple of different um, skills, a couple of different careers to follow, right? Yeah, yeah. I actually um, take a lot of my sort of inspiration from Sean O'Malley in terms of uh, – like you know, all the th- all the things he's on, he's on so many uh, different platforms, and um, you know, so many forms of content, and surrounds himself with like a lot of people, and and uh, some people obviously don't like that as well. They they think um, they think oh, you should just focus on fighting, but bro, like you know, fighting only doesn't pay the bills, and you see people um, they come in and come out of the game with nothing, so. I would ideally like to, uh, you know, monetize my rise to the to the UFC and in my reign while I'm there, and uh, become a celebrity as well, not just um, known as a fighter. And I've done a pretty good job in New Zealand. Like a lot of people here know me, um, which is cool. Which is cool. Um, I enjoy awesome, it. Man. Yeah, I just try to uh, portray myself the way that I would, um, I, who I would look up to. You know, so. No, it's good, bro. Like you mentioned, you're working with Will or Sly Will or something for for the videography and that. It's looking great, man. You know, the only thing I would like to see, you know, you look at O'Malley and his coach, um, those guys do a real good job of just showing their personality when they're with their friends and stuff. I reckon that's something you could add to it a bit, you know, like some of those commentary things where they're all just talking around, sitting around talking about different questions, different like events that are happening around the world or different MMA sort of uh, events, whatever. It's kind of fun because you really get to know their personalities. Not many people doing that. Like most of them are making like something a bit more serious. It's kind of cool to see people's personalities and you can watch it you just feel like you're one of the lads, you know, and you've got plenty of good people around you. If you have the right, uh, the right partner with you, you know, you guys could make something good. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, um, that's the plan. Eventually, um, I've just kind of like had some ideas in my head and it's just bringing them to light. But yeah, 100%, yeah. I understand what you mean because um, I say that to people all the time, you know, like we, although we're fighters, um, you're getting killers these days that are elite athletes and they, they're just like chill, you know, they're like, like me, like I just got into like video gaming and, and streaming and stuff and that's been cool for people to see like how I am like off, off out of the ring and they feel like, bro, like, this guy's doing it like why can't I and, and um, they're yeah. starting to realise like who I am as a person and, and, and I think that's cool and uh, yeah I would like to capture it for some, some YouTube and I, I for the friends and stuff it's like they some of them are a little shy you know a lot of Kiwis are yeah. like they feel some type of way when the camera gets put on them and I don't want yeah. to feel like that but I also like urge uh, let them know like all my um, peers you know like this is um what people want to see like even though even though we're all fighters they want to see like what you guys get up to and, and then and what, what how what, how they can relate to you yeah you could you got a guy like dan hooker man he's fucking hilarious bro you know you yeah, get some yeah. of these characters on there i always thought yeah. shane young would have always used to say to shane young he should do a bit too because he's a pretty pretty good character you know interesting guy yeah, yeah. so i don't know so you got plenty of these guys around you bro i reckon you could do a good job with them together you know yeah yeah yeah, I, w- I would like yeah. to uh, capture huge as well, but um, yeah, he's, he's probably that, right? he's, he'll probably get into, get himself in trouble. <laughs> but um, yeah, and it, yeah, no, he's it's, not uh, it's good banter. It's good Eugene banter doesn't between. seem so inclined for the social media too, right? Like he limits his nah. stuff. He just does it with a couple of trusted guys from New Zealand, right? Yeah, yeah, but everyone there like knows him and sees him at training every day. They know how funny he is. Um, yeah, yeah, he's got like the harsh. The harsh banter, but it's like really, really good as well. Just yeah. makes makes us all feel like you know strong men. You know, it's, um, that's it's it. good. That's it, bro. Um, last question. You've had this question a few times. We're going to ask you anyway. What's the future hold for you, bro? What are we expecting from Navajo Sterling? Oh, bro. Honestly, it's going to blow up quick. I've prepared myself to really, really blow up fast. Like going into the next year, 
And um, I think uh, everyone's just got to jump on the hype train. Jump on the hype train, um, you know, because I'm going to be having fun the whole the whole way through to the top. And uh, yeah, I've, uh, I'll be coming in like coming in hot. So yeah, nice. That's all I'm gonna nice, say. Bro. Just get ready. <laughs> awesome, mate. We're ready, bro. We're following your your rise, bro. Looking forward to seeing you be successful, bro. And uh, looking forward to your fight with Sam K as well, man. Uh, thanks hey. again for your time, mate. Eh? Appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. Appreciate it.